Good morning, good morning. Second morning of the trip, new day on the trail. We're going up to a viewpoint now, somewhere up that side. And then from there we've got to get down the mountain. Apparently there's quite a few big technical sections. There was one section that they had to change yesterday. We were going to go up there, but he was a bit worried about all the overlanding vehicles with all the weight on the roof. So now we're going down there. I'm not going to lie, a bit nervous for that one because apparently it's almost vertical. But we'll see. I think there's going to be a lot of banging and scraping on the way down this morning. But it was a pretty cool campsite. I mean, we're literally on top of a mountain. I mean, check out this view. It goes on for days. All You can literally see Tatamans Kral and Bella Bella. You can see all of them from here. Really, really pretty place. So everyone's pretty much packed up. Everyone's just faffing around. Morning, Jeep Club. Hey, what's happening, Ronan? Why is there a Jeep Club separation? Look, we don't want to brag or anything, but you know, We're we just better. don't want to make it awkward for the other guys. Can you believe how much shit he fits in his Jeep? <laughs> that is an unbelievable. Always got great packing skills. <laughs> one or the other. Either also awesome packing skills and we know how to force everything. Correct. 50-50 on that one. You guys ready for this morning? Yeah, I think so. It's going to be cool. Apparently this man of Macy or something. Yeah, we're going to do man of Macy. So Apparently we'll, yeah. you're going down a bit. Yeah. Are like you a man of mouse? Are you a mouse? It's like almost vertical, eh? That's going to suck. <laughs> for overlanders. That's well, they didn't want us to go up it. Because they said the, yeah, the ability to much. roll. Yeah, but we'll now go. we're going down. It sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. So if we roll our cars, you know, we'll blame it on them. Yeah, they see me rolling, no one's hating. Yeah, that's that, bro. <laughs> we'll continue packing with chat now. Yeah, I like her. Cheers, mate. called man of mace so man or mouse it apparently is almost a vertical drop so I mean I don't know I haven't looked at it yet but I'll go have a look now um, and then what we need to do is have a look decide who wants to do it and who doesn't want to do it I'm really not so comfortable doing it I haven't even seen it but we'll see I mean I'm gonna go have a look quickly and yeah tell me what you guys think <laughs> right, so sitting down at the bottom of man or mouse, I'm definitely a mouse for this one. Check here. Steve's gonna do it in the colt, I think. Are you gonna do it in the colt? Contemplating. Let's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely a mouse. Let me walk up to the top. I'll show you what it looks like from up there. That's pretty steep. Yeah. No chance. So that's it from the the top. It's me. I'm going to get the cruiser, park at the bottom, film some of the guys coming down or up, whichever they decide. But it's not my cup of tea. Donkey is next to my wife and my child and my dog. Favorite thing in my in my life. He's not. He's not going to be. No one's gonna see me rolling. Well done.
to learn to pick your battles. This is not my battle. Not the one I want to do anyway, so I won't be doing that. Rather safe than sorry. I'd prefer to enjoy the rest of the trip nicely with everyone as opposed to them trying to me having to drive the donkey like this because it's crossed the roof. Okay, we've just arrived back from that trail. It was absolutely insane. The Bundu Trail was a a lot of lessons learned, a lot of different angles taken. My vehicle is definitely not a 4x4 vehicle. I, <laughs> not a 4x4 vehicle. My vehicle is definitely not a 4x4 suited track vehicle. But the donkey did really well. We're now moving from here to a camp called Serendipity, which we're spending two days at. Yeah, I think it's about a 45 minute drive, so it's not long. So long story short of what he was saying is welcome to the camp. We've got showers there, we've got ablutions there, and we are happy to have you. So this is us camping now. Cousin Jason, by the way. Say hi, Jason. How's it? <laughs> Don't know what's in store for us tomorrow. Have you been here? Before? No. But, uh, okay, so no, first time. First time for everything. Um, I think the first time for a lot of us, and there is a lot of us. So tomorrow should be a good day. If the last two have been anything to go by, tomorrow's going to be a good one. Jeep Club is still setting up. Jeep Club! What's happening there? We're doing Jeep things here. Yeah. They're doing Jeep things. You know the Jeep people, they take their time. Quick pitch advert. If ever there was one, that is a quick pitch advert. What tells you this is a quick pitch adventures trip?
Smile and wave. Yeah. Not you, it's not facing you. That's what she said. Yeah, now's your chance. Nice relaxed morning around camp. We're making some coffee and after a really enjoyable evening around the fire. Everybody's nice and chilled and relaxed. We're in no rush to do the 4x4 track just yet. Got a little bit of a problem with one of the Jeeps. It seems to be overheating, so I think they've got a bit of, bit of a leak. The guys are getting stuck in to fix that quickly. <laughs> But what I think is a good idea is now once everything's back in, it's idle. Yeah, it's sucking everything through. That's a little bit. Oh, you'll be making it sound like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's like fine. But you help or see no crap? For everything, you come as a no need. But you don't give a start. Okay, so. I start even as a net skier. Yeah, it's just you. And then I think breakfasts and yeah, then we'll hit the trail. You want to take a picture? Mm -mm. Can I ruin it? Yeah. Is it okay? Black it yourself, man. Black it. What's for breakfast? Black it bacon and scrambled eggs. Nice. Hungry after last night, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get there, okay, you need for 600. Alright, so guys are still busy packing up and stuff. Um, Carlos, he's been nominated as today's cowbell carrier. He doesn't know yet. I'm sure you'll find out. So, I stuck it. It's just above the rear wheel arch. So, let me try and see if I can show you what it is. It is. There. So let's hope he can take a joke. Ignis says he can take a joke. <laughs> so we'll see, see what he does and what he says when he realizes what it is. It's going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> this is the quick driver's briefing for this morning's trail. Uh, morning, everybody. I hope you had a good night. We'll make sure that there's lots of wood for tonight as well. And if you want to push the hours a bit later last night, yeah. So we've started the Serendipity Trail. We're doing the three hour trail first, eh? Yeah. Today, my cousin's joining me, Jason. He's been on some tours with us before. And he came all the way from Joburg to come and spend the last two nights of the trip with us. And it's been good to have him so far. Today is a three hour drive, then apparently some grade three obstacles maybe three and a half so yeah just at the beginning of it I had another problem with one of the jeeps that was uh, smoking due to some oil but now it seems like it's all okay again but here we go so as I said earlier Carlos is carrying the bell I think he's now started to notice that new noise in his vehicle the ting 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 every time he gets a little bit of body roll. Yeah, we saw, saw his head out the window, looking at the front, looking at the back. <laughs> yeah, he's not sure what that is, but it's definitely going to bug him. So the way I tied it is, it's in such a place that it'll only, it won't knock all the time, because otherwise it's a bit obvious. So you only want it to knock every now and then when it's got a bit of body roll or a little bit of axle twisters, and that's where it's knocking. And then every now and then you see his head pop up and he's listening. It's funny. <laughs> Hear it again, yeah. Should hear it again, yeah. That was flat. Whoa, 
Amarok uh, got a little bit stuck on the way up a climb. He's basically beached his car. This is Dean, and if he goes any further back, he's going to rip off his mud flap. Yeah, that's a solid one, that. Yeah, you got it. 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 Yeah, and rinse, 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 rinse. As you can see, the winch didn't work. Um, he's properly beached. His tires aren't touching the ground, so it's actually just pulling the recovery vehicle back. So I'm going to try some max tracks to give him a little bit of traction with the winch. See if it, see if it helps. Okay, there we go. Recovery is successful. Now we must get everyone else through here. Just gonna, guys, just gonna pack some rocks, and from there we'll get all the others up. So it's pretty, pretty hectic. It doesn't look like it from here. Let me film it from the other side. You can have a look at what it, what he actually got stuck on. As soon as, as soon as you think. So. I can hear it as well, eh? Doesn't sound good. Did one of you guys put a cable tower on my drive shaft or something? Hmm? Uh, say again? Didn't one of you guys put a cable tower around my drive shaft or something? Roland. Sorry, I didn't get that. Do you need cable ties? No, did you put a cable tie on my drive shaft? You want to stop and check? I want to stop and check. It makes a weird fucking noise at certain times. Now you can stop. I've got cable ties. Do you need big ones or small ones? Oh, I thought you said you needed cable ties. Carlos, I said, I'm going to see you. 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 I'm going to see <laughs> He's found it. We're gonna, I told him he must leave it there now. Now that he knows what it is, he can leave it there for the rest of the day. It's funny, man. 
Push it, push it. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Let me push. You climb under. <laughs> All right, so Carlos has finally found his cowbell. It's been bugging him. After he thought it was U joints, U bolts, bearings, brakes, S suspension. suspension, he finally got out and looked. And I said to him, okay, well, I'll come and help you. He kept saying, did someone tie cable ties around my prop shaft? I was like, what? You need cable ties? No, man. Come listen here. So I went to his car. Then we decide, no, it's definitely bearings. And then he gets under the car while I shook the tire and he found the bell finally. Glad he took it in good spirits. It's always good when someone takes it in good spirits. Unlike Land Rover drivers who don't say anything the entire day with the amount of noise that it makes. And then they eventually get to camp and you can see them fiddling underneath the car for long. They're just too proud, you know. Sorry, guys. You know, between oil leaks and knocking noises. And you guys too proud to say anything when you're in the Toyota Convoy, aren't you? Back at camp, finally finished the trail. The three hour trail turned into a... Does anyone know the time? 20 to three. So the three hour trail turned into a four and five hour trail. We stopped a lot. We stopped a lot. Three recoveries. Thanks to those two, all the vehicles made it through unscathed. Mostly. A couple of scratches. Thanks to me, his vehicle had broken CVs, broken universal joints, broken brakes. bearings, brakes. But it only ended up being a cowbell. Like, wow, you know, just a cowbell. <laughs> There's no hope for you. <laughs> but it was an awesome day, I can tell you. What you need to do is book your next trip with Quick Pitch Adventures and you won't be disappointed. Solar panel. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, no, no, no. Rally! Rally! Don't go too far, you get in. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. Speak of me. Thank you, Donkey. Thank you, Donkey. In fairness, the fuse pop. Excuses, excuses. You can dial direct for that, but. Hey, smile the camera. Hey, smile the camera. How do I negotiate? Come on, next trip. Then we can riding off me and off your group. That's the one. Yeah, really.